say, you know, put out his hand and shake it or he's going to shoot you. The Taliban's army of some 30,000 fighters. Born from the crucible of war. Captured Kabul in 1996 and imposed draconian laws. Indiscriminate and brutal. Whipped in public for adultery in front of an all-male audience. We have a problem with the Taliban incited Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden would offer money and invite us to fight. Northern Alliance came together in mutual opposition to the Taliban. General Dostum and his advanced security party come riding up. General Dostum, who has a fierce reputation for his treatment of foreign prisoners. And he jumps down off the horse and... Hell, the horse is still moving, he jumps off. Yeah. He's like, hey. General Dostum agreed to take my team members and I up to his forward command post. I can't guarantee your safety. So there's some people that may be upset that the Americans are here. So we would mount horses for the first time in combat. Mark knows horses. He knew horses when he, when he got there. We did. Mark figured out real quick that if you go up to 400 dudes on a horse and say, hey, somebody get off the horse and give it to the American, you ain't going to get a smooth horse. We got to General Dostum's headquarters. My job at that point is to establish and maintain rapport. His plan that he had briefed to us was that Masri Sharif was the key to the country. And if we could liberate Masri Sharif, the northern provinces would be liberated. If we liberated the northern provinces, then Kabul could be liberated. And from there, Arat, Kandahar, Jalalabad. We represented Fifth Group. We represented America's foreign policy at the pointy end, nasty, dirty, bloody end of that fight that we went in and helped enable the possibility of a brighter future for the people of Afghanistan. We got married in April, he left in October. He was a medic. I thought it was safe. <laughs> yeah, he lied to me, guys. No, he didn't lie to me, he was a medic. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Yeah. Why aren't you know what it is. people <clears> think. <throat> a lot of memories, you know what I mean? It's like that you kind of tap down and put away. Not so good, but it's OK. Every one of the husbands will tell you that they're going to die before a spouses do. I'll drink scotch. Suck it up, Will. I'll drink scotch. Hey, I'm going to toast everybody who's not here. No. Yeah, there you go. We got, we got Chad, Pete, 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 Steve, Pete, Steve, Pete, Steve, Pete, Bill, wherever you are, wherever he's at. Here we go. Salute. 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 It wasn't until you were forced to retire, you had to retire, then you isolated yourself from your family and everybody else. You internalize everything, you try to find a new normalcy. What I found kind of peace with is to go out here crawl around in jeeps and you know, be one again. <laughs>